Hi, it's Linda from Linda Learns to Color. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for visiting and stopping by. I really, really appreciate it. So in today's video, I wanted to share my July um, coloring book and supply haul, supplies haul. Uh, I kind of thought I was going to have a lot less for this haul, but it didn't turn out that way. I did do good on my buying on Amazon coloring books. I did do good there. But yeah, you know, we should get started because I do have quite a few stuff. So I didn't really buy anything for on Prime Day at um, on Amazon. I was trying to really be good because last year I did buy a, a lot of colored budget colored pencil coloring pencils. So I thought I would this year. I'm not gonna, you know, really do too much. Thankfully, I was out of town as well, so that helped. But um, Blick had a sale. I don't know if it was like their prime sale or, or what, but they had these for like 50 something dollars. So I thought I would finally get them because they've been on my wish list for a while. So I did get these and it's um, 72 Blick Studio Artist Colored Pencil, high pigmentation, blendable and fade resistant. And I'll show the back of the tin in just a second. So I do like that it has these little flaps here, although they're not attached. I don't, I don't, yeah, they're not attached. You have to be careful when you lift it up that you don't accidentally slide it. But aren't these colors beautiful? I don't have a whole lot of space here, so I'm not going to take them all out, but they are pretty. And this is what the pencil looks like. Let me take my glasses off so I can see. Yeah, they look like that. And they do have... They do have the color, but I don't, I guess there is a number. I was writing the wrong number down when I did swatch these, but I think you're supposed to write that number right there, the last four digits I was writing. I was doing this one, but then I realized that some of them have the same number, so, but that's okay. So let me go ahead. This doesn't feel really secure, like it's really securely closed, so I put a rubber band on it so when I'm grabbing it from the bookshelf it won't just everything accidentally fall out that'd be horrible but I misplaced my rubber band so I'm just going to be careful as I turn it around and so that's what it says right there the other available sets and the colors so I did get that and then I'll show you really quick my swatching so you can see all those beautiful colors. So um, I ended up just starting to just write the colors names because I was doing the numbers wrong. And this is in my beautiful Bliss swatch book. So I got that from Blick. And I also got these from Blick. These were in my last haul and the nibs there were a few nibs on this side that it looked like it just got shoved closed like like that and it dented. I don't know how that actually really happened, but that's what it looked like. So there were two of them like that. And then this one was overflowing. Um, like when you would lay down the color, it was just coming out too fast. So they replaced those for me, which I thought was really nice. So I got those and I, what else? Oh, I got one more thing from Blick. Another item that was on my wish list for a long time are these Jelly Roll. These were practically half off, I believe. So I swatched them and there are some, let me take my glasses off again. There are some that are glittery like that. And then there's like a matte, mattish type, but aren't they beautiful? So I haven't used them yet, so I can't really say how I, I like them. So we'll see. If you have these, do you keep them in this case? I, I kind of like the case. I think I'm just going to leave them in here. Or do you put them in a like a pen or pencil case, like the ones with the zippers on the side? So that was my Blick haul. And then I also got, so Nicole at Nicole's Happy Place, um, go check out her channel, she's really sweet. Um, she was using these to put her P3 
PDF. So I thought this is a great idea because I've been looking for something like this. I have a binder, but I don't really like binders. They're kind of bulky to me. Um, so, because you know how they kind of, yeah, they're just a little bit bulky. I do use binders, but I just prefer something else. So this, I don't know how many pages are in here. I forgot to count or look online before I started my video. So what I like to do is I like to put the images a little bit smaller. So I just, on regular printer paper. These ones over here, I've printed already like on, on the, the coloring paper that I want. I think one is like marker paper and, and um, I think another one is like a colored pencil paper. But I also purchased the gnomes. Um, Nicole had also shared her her haul and she in her haul she had purchased this PDF of gnomes. And let's see, by Maria um, Budek, I believe. And this is from Etsy. And I just went ahead and printed this paper. I mean, them all on the one. And then when I'm ready, I will go go ahead and print whichever one I want. I'm, I think I want to try one like on tan tone paper. I don't have tanned or is it toned tan paper. So I want to actually buy some from the Bliss coloring store. I like her, the paper she chooses. So yeah, so I got that. That's for my coloring book haul. But since it's in here, I'll just go ahead and share that now. Aren't those just the cutest things? Oh, I love gnomes. So it came in a pack of three and excuse me if I'm remembering correctly I think I paid $13 for them I, I believe it was around there $13, $18 but I think it was $13 and some change and I also got I got these I actually had bought some back in 2017 can you believe that I still have some of them but I lost a few and I accidentally ordered two packs so I guess I'm set for a while so these have three in there and I like it that this set didn't have that one big broad brush um, that I that my other pack came with. At least I don't think so. I thought I checked them all, but oops. So let's see. It comes with this one. Can you see that little tiny? Great for the smaller details. And then it has this size. I'm always taking my glasses on and off. And the last one is in this size. So those are the sizes that you will get in this pack. And somebody mentioned, because I've been doing that experimenting with the Disney coloring books and gesso and satin glaze, someone mentioned um, watercolor ground. I don't know what the difference is between that and gesso. Um, I don't want to open it because I took off that the um, like that one piece that kind of seals it all in. So I'm gonna try this and see what happens, and I will keep you all updated. I probably won't do another update till uh, maybe the end of next month because I gotta get coloring on some of my buddy colors. I gotta finish those up. But yeah, so if you guys know anything about this, <laughs> please let me know because I'm gonna try it in my Disney coloring books. And then I was at like Home Goods or some one of those stores, Ross, I'm not sure. But they had this for I think like $10. And I thought I would try these with backgrounds, like using um, stamp pads or something. I haven't tried it, so I don't know if it'll work. And I don't know since they're so flat at the bottom, um, <clears throat> like this, I don't know if that will affect anything or maybe if you use it on this side. I'm not sure. I have not used them, but I thought that would be a great thing to try and if it doesn't work then they'll eventually get used with makeup and all I'm not a, a I don't wear that much makeup but I do like to put foundation on every so often especially on my date night with my hubby so they'll be used either way and then um who is it I can't remember the channel name. I'm so sorry, but I will find it and link it in the description. All the channels I mentioned will be in the description. Um, but she said that these paint pit paint pens, is that how you, the Faber Castell, I got these at Hobby Lobby. There you go. So there are the Faber Castell pit artist pens and this one's dark chrome yellow. And these are 
ink base, Indian ink base, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly. And I did do swatching. These are water-based. Um, and I had, I had written some information at the bottom of my card so I'd remember when I shared it with you all. But then I cut this to fit in my little bag. So, but what I do remember is that if you're going to put water like this, you do have to work fast because it dries really quick. See how this one didn't really blend out very well? The yellow did in some of the top ones. So, like this one didn't. I am not really sure. Um, I'm going to have to read up a little bit more on how to, how people use these. because, But they were like such a good deal. And I thought it would be great in my coloring. They normally were $4.49 and I got them for $1.12 each. So I just got all these colors. Aren't they beautiful? Oops, there goes one on the floor. Pick that up. Um, so yeah, I don't exactly know how many I got. I think I got like about two dozen. So, I know, goofy me buying something that I'm not exactly sure what it's all about, but it's such a good deal, and I know I will use them. And I did watch some videos on on these, so. And then the black ones I already owned, they were in, they came in like a sample box from Faber Castell. They, at one time, I don't know if the deal's still going on, but you could buy a sample box for $1 and you pay the shipping. I think it was like, I think it came out to $8 altogether, but you got a lot of goodies in that box. And it was also recommended that I try this with the gesso. So I got this 20 piece wood handle foam brush variety pack. So there's different sizes. I had one that I got from like the thrift store. It was like super, um, it didn't work very well. So I thought, you know what, let me just go ahead and buy um, one that's not so, you know, like a doll store. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be different, but this one does have like, like right here, there's like, I don't know if it's wood or cardboard or what, but it goes all the way up to right there where the other ones were just so, it was just really flimsy. Um, yeah, so we'll try this out and see how that works with my putting the, either the satin glaze or the gesso, or I don't know about these, um, grounds. I'll try applying it with this. Although these ones seem kind of small. I think I'll use the bigger ones. So I'm not sure if these will absorb too much. So yeah, we'll just figure it out. And I will report back later. And I also got from Hobby Lobby, this cute little gnome. It's not exactly a coloring um, thing, but isn't that just the cutest thing? I'm gonna put it on my desk. There were some other ones, but I had a, was already spending money on a few things. Not, not all at Hobby Lobby, but I had got those pencils from Blick. But this was half off. They were having their 50% off sale. They're having all kinds of things for 50% off. So I also got from Hobby Lobby. It's also not a coloring related item, but it was so cute. And I actually don't know where I'm gonna put it because I don't have that much room. And it's another gnome, but look at this. I, think, I wonder if this is supposed to be like a garden for your garden but isn't that so cute it has like a little gnome house yes it's kind of too big but it's 50 percent off and it had everything i loved it had the little house the mushrooms the book it could be either a reading book or a coloring book and a garden and flowers stones just everything so i splurged and got it it was also half off i think it was like 13 dollars. so it was just so cute and we're getting to the last of the supplies. Uh, my sister, my sister, my daughter was cleaning out her room and look what we found. This is like stamping up from years and years ago. And it's it's uh, one of those heat guns. So I thought, I recently had purchased one actually, but always great to have another one. We found a lot of my Stampin' Up stuff. This one's from Stampin' Up. I just thought I would share that with you all. Okay, so let's get to the coloring books now. So I am going to move a few things out of the way. And I guess we could start with the, with, um, I went to a convention. I was for my work. I helped out at a convention and I found a few things. I found some coloring books 
I found God's Wild Creatures coloring book and there's the author and I got this it was at a one of the Mennonite um, curriculum booths but I got it for myself because I thought that these were so pretty aren't those gorgeous and I like that it tells you a little bit about like the gray squirrel the brown bear so yeah I just thought this was really pretty let's see maybe I will stack them on this side and then I got this Bible Inspirations coloring book at the same booth. And there's the illustrator. And this one has words, but it has some scenes as well. And I just thought it was something simple for me to try. But the only thing it's not double, I mean, it's not single. They're double-sided, but I thought it was pretty. And I also found an Usborne booth. And I got the Wild Animal Magic Painting Book. So this is where you would use water and the paintbrush. And then you go over the sections and the paint comes through. And I just thought these were so pretty. And I like that it had, so this is everything, all the animals that it is in this one. And I like that it has this little flap so if you're coloring or doing your painting, you would, it protects the other page. And I thought these would be great and then I could go over with colored pencils. So I got that one. I got the Magic Garden. They're so pretty. That's all the illustrations in this one. And then it was buy four get one free. So that's why I bought I have five. This one's the Greek Myths. And of course the paintbrush isn't going to be the greatest but you could use your own as well. And then here are the images. This one tells you a little bit about them as well. And then I got the, the zoo one, which I thought was so cute. And then those are the images or illustrations. So cute, look at those. And then I got the narwhals, am I saying that correctly? And other sea creatures. And I know these are really for kiddos, but I thought that could be really relaxing. Let me just kind of move these out of the way because they're gonna make my other books kind of fall the way they're, they're shaped. And then I guess I could do my Amazon haul because I'm supposed to really have done really good with my Amazon. So um, my goal is to buy like four books um, mostly I'm putting two words together from my wish list so hopefully I could start getting the books on my wish list and I'm trying to do a less buy so I'm limiting myself to four books from Amazon um, a month I I kind of did okay I did get this one because this one has been on my wish list for a while find the hidden objects and there's so many cute pages. I think I had that there because I was finding the objects on that one or one object in each. Yeah, this is so cute. I've seen this all on YouTube and it's been on my my wish list for a little while. And I had found the hidden object for in these ones. So I got that one. So that's one. And then um, I got this one. So Sarah over at Chronic Coloring Down Under had shared these books on her YouTube channel and they, they were so cute. I'll, I'll show you that one in a, just a second. And normally I'm not into like little horror or anything horror or anything like that. But this was when, I, when she was showing it, um, these weren't too bad. I thought that he was actually quite funny. I do wish they would have put the, these girls on the front though. I'm still, I don't really like that. <laughs> but um, there is one I think where someone is like gnawing on a arm or something. I kind of don't like that one, but like, you know, these are actually kind of cute. So I got that. And this was little, so I kind of counted it as one with this. 
This one was actually uh, more expensive than this one. This one, I don't know if it's still on sale or if it was a sale. Um, but I do know that when the publishers make these little books, they actually make um, less on them if they're putting them at the same price as their big books. It's interesting. So go watch um, Sarah's channel. I'll link the flip through. So she did a really thorough flip through. So this one has like characters, the places, and I just really fell in love with it when she was sharing it on her channel. I love anything with trees and little worlds under there. So yeah, so that's my second, I know I'm cheating there. And then this one, um, this one was a pre-order and it just arrived so I really didn't count it. Um, so I do have books on pre-order and is it, yeah, this one was, I don't think I've done a flip through on my channel of this one. If there's any books that you would like to see a flip through, please let me know and I will get that done. But I know there's a lot already since this one just, oh, look at that. That is so cute. Look, it has little wings. So yeah. And then I got this one. It was on sale, so I thought I would snag it since it was on my wish list. And isn't this so cute? This is by Deborah Muller. Am I saying her name correctly? Now look at that. It has a little house. Just like my little gnome statue thingy. And it cracks me up with that nose. <laughs> Their noses are so big. So I got that one. That was so cute. And then... I wasn't planning on getting any more, but these were on a sale. I don't, um, so I think the publisher, um, Coloring, ba Coloring Book Cafe lowered the price for a while. I don't know if it was for like the prime time or, or what, but because now they are back at $9.99, which is still a great sale because you're getting four coloring books in here and normally the coloring books run $6.99 to $7.99 which is also a great price but to get all four coloring books I got all of these for $6.99 and this one's 100 landscapes adult coloring book and it's 100 pages four books in one and it tells you which ones so this one has ocean landscapes charming cities majestic mountains and relaxing country scenes this one's actually copyright in 2022. They're so beautiful. The pages. Isn't that just gorgeous? So I got um, 100 landscapes. And then this one, I, it was on sale like a few weeks ago for 13, 13 and some change. And I was almost going to get it because it looked like the regular price was either like between 15 and 19. I can't remember, but it went down to the 699 as well. And this one just has so many adorable baby animals. And this one is also um, four coloring books in one. And it has from cute and lovable baby animals from forest jungles oceans and farms look at these guys they're just so adorable so i got that one <clears throat> excuse me and then this one is 100 countryside scenes and then this one is from beautiful country gardens cute farm animals and relaxing country landscapes and there's supposed to be a fourth one did i, I just i just read three Hmm. But I know it's four. I'm probably just combining them. But aren't these so pretty? They are on Amazon paper. This paper just looks a little bit different. I don't know if it's just me. But it's, yeah, it's Amazon paper. And then the last one is the Four Seasons. And again, this is also four books. It says adult color coloring book featuring 100 fun and relaxing coloring pages with spring, summer, autumn, and winter. So, 
so yeah so i got all these coloring books for such a great price <clears throat> i think it's what a total of 16 coloring books all together all combined so those are just beautiful so that's my amazon haul and that's um i know i'm cheating here i'm not counting these <laughs> these were just such a great deal and i knew the prices were gonna eventually probably go back up I wasn't sure what was going on because I think the publisher, in order to put these on sale, had to change the price. And then when the set, when their sale is over, they change them back to the regular price. So it's not like an Amazon sale. Amazon didn't put them on sale. So anyway, I got those. And then um, I guess we could do the half price. Oh, let's do the French coloring books. So this is my little, from the, I know I need to write that down or figure out how do you say it, but it's L-I-K-R-E-A, I think. Um, those French coloring books. So I got this. This was so cute. I kept, it kept popping up when I was looking around and the, the bookmarks are just adorable. Look at that one. I love it. It's so cute. And there's a little peek inside that one and then I had seen this one a few times pop up as well and it looks so pretty that I thought I would see if I like it here's a wallpaper page I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with these pages but over at um, doodle robots channel she has given ideas on how to use these pages so I think that is wonderful look at that one little gnomes you see them there so cute I love this one this one's so gorgeous I like it because the sky is already done back there so this one has um, a lot of beautiful illustrations in it and I was going to um, figure this out but I didn't and it forgot and then I got this one. So I don't know if I should show the back. I guess I could. Um, I'll go ahead and show the back. Well, you know what? I'll just show that it's like some of these. I think this one I actually want to be surprised. So I'm not going to look at the back yet. And then I saw this. And I was just kind of interested. It said, um, I know it was like more for children, but it said 100 stickers. And I just thought I would get one to see how see what it was all about and it's really cute so it gives you kind of the color palette right there and then you get your 100 stickers I think it was like four four or five dollars so I thought well I'll just try one and see I don't know if I'll get any more but I thought it was cute and if you like stickers it's a great it's not bad price I got another one of these this one, I'll go ahead and share the back because I am I usually look at all these when I'm completing a page. But sometimes these look different than what the colors are putting down here and it kind of helps you choose your color. So, we'll see. I'm still practicing with my other books. I'm probably not going to start this one until I figure a little bit more out. And I got another one of these. Let's see. Those are... Um, a, those are small, but they're not too small for me. This one's a little bit different than... Oops, I almost showed the back. Oh no, they are the same. So I don't know what I'm going to use in these ones. I don't know if I'm going to use colored pencils or what. And I don't know when I'll actually get to one, but I have them in my little collection. And then this one I thought was really cute. I love the, the dwarfs. The dwarfs are so cute. I like that one. How funny. I wonder what that one's from. I like this one because I had a lot of the older ones that I, more of the ones that I know about. Um, I don't know all the characters, but there were a lot that I did know, so. That's that one. I love the cover too. <laughs> I think this is one of their newer ones. I, can't remember 
I thought I saw somewhere that was a more recent one. Um, yeah, this one says 2022. Okay, so that's it for my the French coloring book. And how about if we do my half price? I kind of bought a lot of stuff at half price. Look at this, look at this pile here. So, so I got these, these are $5.99. These are the Enchanted Forest 12 color and note cards. So there's different, there's 12 all together. And I'll just show you the back and then I'll show you what they look like. So these are the ones that are in there and there's one of each, I believe. And so they look like this. So they're blank. I was thinking maybe gel pens, <clears throat> excuse me. And then they come with the, the envelope. This is really cute, has a little decorative right there. So I got that. And then I got this 20 postcards they're 4.99s there was also one with the ocean one that she has but um, my pile was getting too expensive so I had to put some things back and that was one of them so yeah I got this oh that scared me I thought there was a bug in here <laughs> I got that one and then I got the this tropical world a coloring book adventure by Millie Murata and this was on clearance for $3. There was another one there, but I already owned it, so I thought I would just leave it. Because again, my pile was getting expensive. $3, $2, $4.99, these all start adding up. So I got that. And then I got this Wizard of Oz for $4.99. I thought that was cute. I like this page. Interesting coloring book. And then I got this dinosaur one, dinosaur coloring book by William Stout. I just thought it was really pretty. The illustrations are really nice. So I got that one. And then I don't play Games of Thrones, but their coloring books are pretty. They have like pretty scenes. I don't know how I would color this. This one's a good size as well. But I just think their illustrations are beautiful. And I thought, well, $7.98, I'll just go ahead and get it. And then I got this Harry Potter one for $7.99. And I love this scene. This is like one of the reasons why I bought this one. It's on a more cream colored paper and it's still pretty thin. I like that one too. I don't see me getting all the pages done, but there are some, like I probably wouldn't do that one, but this one's nice. But I love that one, isn't that just gorgeous? And then I was supposed to put this one back, but I forgot because I paid $2 for this and it's normally just a $1 book. But, oh wow, I guess support my, my half price books, right? But I thought these were nice. The artist is just amazing. And these could be copied onto a, a different paper. But yeah, goofy me. Paid $2 for that. And then I got this one. This is a from Disney World, I believe. It's $4.99. And it's super simple. Uh, it's double sided, so you can't use off of home markers. But I will have to try my gesso and all that in here. I got that. I'm not sure. Can it say when it was published? I don't think so. Um, yeah, I don't see a copyright date. And then I forgot to share this one in my other half price books haul. This one was the dollars in the clearance section. And I got this one for the colors that it has in there. I just thought they were they're beautiful. So I got that. Now 
Alexander Art Corporation. And then I got this one. I got all these books when I was with my daughter. So we were, um, you know, in another city. So these are books that I aren't at our local half price books. So I got this color, Heaven's Angels. Artwork by Donna Moses. I looked her up and I think I'm going to get a few more for coloring books eventually. Aren't these just, they're really cute. I thought it was just adorable. Look at the angels. There's Mary. I thought the art was very pretty. And she, I think, um, if I'm remembering correctly, um, she has other books that aren't, um, like, faith-based. The cover, um, these are, like, raised a little bit. Feels neat. And then I got this for a dollar at half price. There were a few more. I was tempted to get two of them. And I got this for two dollars. Fairies color by number. I thought the images were really pretty. And here's like, here's a peek of what they all look like. Let me take my glasses off so I can see that better. So those are all the fairies and I think there's more in the back. Yep. And then here's the color chart. Gotta get my glasses back on. But yeah, I thought these were really pretty. And then I got this one. This was $40.49 or something like that. Or $0.49, cents, I'm not sure. I just thought these were cute. Maybe I could use markers in here. Just do like super simple, no shading or anything like that. I like the stars, it's cute. And then the last one from Half Price Books was this one. There's so many cute fairies in here. Um, I kind of wish they would have put another fairy on the on there. Like, look at that. That's so cute. And that one's beautiful. Another cute one. Look at that. <laughs> Big old eyeball peeking in. So, yeah, I kind of wish there was one of the other fairies was picked for the front cover. But, oh well. This is really cute. So I got this one for $3.49. And it's a Jade Summer book. I don't have too many Jade Summer books. I actually bought one, like, back in 2017. But it's packed away and it's real pretty with trees. I've been thinking about getting another one since I haven't seen it in so long. Okay. And then I also got... Um, color It emailed some, you know, they know how to get you to go shopping. They sent me a 10% off coupon and they said they missed me. <laughs> oh, yeah, right, Tom. So I got two coloring books. The one I wanted, was, I think it was like 50 states was not available. So I thought I would go ahead and get this Christmas one. It was one that I was going to get during Christmas anyway. Look at that, I love the cupcakes. That one's cute, little elf guy. So I got this one, and then I got this one. The Native American Spirit, 50 original drawings. And then after I bought these two, they sent me another coupon for 20% off. <laughs> So I went back and they still didn't have the one I wanted. So I thought I would get this one, Mythical and Fantasy. I put a marker there because I would like to color that one. Very nice. Oh, oh I like that one. And then I got the Colorful Seasons. Again, I plan to get this one eventually. So I thought, well, I guess I'll add it now to my collection. I 
like that one and that one and that one <laughs> that one's nice too the owls that one's cute oh i like that one and that one yep there's a lot in here that i like as well so i ended up with four colored books but they were great prices i think um some i paid like 16 so it was, it was good okay so my last bits of my books are also from Amazon but these ones and I know I need to start using these and stop buying them again I think I'm gonna do something like a month long of doing different techniques from my how-to coloring books so I got this one practical step-by-step -step drawing techniques I don't want to do the drawing but I thought like the texture and, and things like that because it says 101 textures in colored pencils sorry I'm kind of um, talking too fast so here's like porcelain, glass, paint drips, bricks. These just came in yesterday, so I haven't had a chance to look at them yet or look through them all. But they have long cat hair, canine, canine eyes, canine, wavy hair, curly hair, and there's like a swatch chart. That's pretty neat. It looks like they use the Prisma color, tools and materials, burlap. So I thought this was really neat. Look at that, a coconut, peach. So yeah, I actually just need to use this. And this one, I know I'm always telling you that I have stuff in storage, but I did buy this color workshop back in 2017 and I bought it again because I want to go through it now. I think I'm ready. So this one has a lot of neat things like wet painting. That's interesting. Embellishing and dry brushing. Looks like that's a gel pen. Comparing mediums, mixed media techniques. Color schemes and harmonies. And I like a lot of them that they use the Prisma color since that's uh, what I have. And then I got this, the colored pencil manual. Again, I haven't looked at it. I just got it yesterday and it was a super busy work day for me. Just super busy in general, so I put them aside. And this is let's see what this one is. I don't know what pencils they are using in this one, so I think I might start with some of the other ones first. But that's the colored pencil manual step by step instructions and techniques by Veronica Winters. This one was by Rachel Raynard, if I'm not if I'm saying that correctly. And then this one is um, Dennis J. Howard. Oh wow, look at that. That's gorgeous. And then the last one, remember in my last haul I had gotten from Half Price. Um, was it fairies, gnomes, and trolls? Oh, that would be a cute one. I don't know. I don't remember which one it was in my last haul. I think it was that one. But I got it at half price for $5.99. And then so I went to Amazon and this one was on sale for $9.99. So I went ahead and got it. And this one's on fairies, faces, and figures, fairy types, and the realm of fairies. And if anything, I'm just going to look at the pictures. They're so beautiful. That's interesting. Fairy types. I need to learn how to do that. Little droplets. But I love that you get like a color palette. Like here's some yellow, orange, browns. Gives you an idea of how to color things. So pretty. Oh, look at that. Reminds me of a Cabbage Patch Kid. 
So that is my July coloring book supplies and coloring book haul. <laughs> oh, I'm just stumbling all over my words today. I think because I know I have another busy day and I'm just a tad bit stressed out, but that's fine. That's why I have my coloring. If anything, just look at my coloring books. They're so gorgeous and beautiful and the, the artists are just so talented. So anyway, that's my haul and I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if there's any flip throughs you would like and what um, any advice you have and what you liked in the haul. And if you have some of the same same items or coloring books, let me know in the comments. I'd love to chat with you all. Sometimes it may take me a day or two to get back, um, but I do read everything and um, get back to it eventually. I try not to wait too long, but every so often it might go to a third day. So you all have a great day. Remember to live a life filled with color. It's so much prettier that way, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!